Okay, I'm coming. I'm coming. Okay, so I got my talking head set up kind of in place here. So I thought I'd try one of these helpful YouTube videos. Uh, in this case, I've been photographing for about 40 years and for about 35 of that professionally. And within that, um, the longest period on it has been as a commercial photographer doing mostly product. So I thought I'd show you one of the tricks or I guess they call them maybe hacks now. It used to be helpful uh, when working on the posing table to get small products uh, to work to stay in place. Uh, these are antiques. <laughs> these be useful. So you used to get a ton of these little plastic boxes every time you shot film from the old days when you shot film. Uh, and so we had a lot of these around. So found different uses for them as time went on rather than just chucking them all out. And a lot of times the labs didn't want them back. Sometimes they did. Uh, in this case, I took these and filled them with lead shot, which is something you probably can't get now. But uh, work with some kind of heavy metal you can get fairly inexpensive. In this case, uh, old film canister thing, just a uh, holder, and went ahead and filled it with pennies. A lot of times you build up a lot, of, a lot of pennies you can't do anything with. Uh, in this case, these are just a couple of empty ones that have been put together. Um, so they can be used. In this case, I'm trying to flatten out this large print. I had it rolled up. So you can use them as just uh, weights to hold things in place, backgrounds, whatever, get them out of frame. Uh, they can be very useful that way. Uh, these things are weighing, I don't know, maybe about a couple pounds just for something like that. But you can have a subject matter that you may need to just kind of prop up and use just some empty ones like that. Or just take one of these heavy lead ones and get it up there. And you can see it'll just immediately slide out of the way. So this is where you use the other thing. You feel easily get this gooey stuff everywhere. Supposed to be a kid's toy. You tend to use a lot of kids' toys in product photography. You just stick that on there, you stick that there, and you can shoot away. So just kind of a simple, simple trick to use with it. Uh, these days you'd have to look for obviously these are antiques, you probably can't find them, but other kind of reuse situations, something that commonly you get a hold of uh, that normally you might throw out. You might be able to find a, some kind of container, box, plastic or something, and just load it up with whatever kind of inexpensive uh, metal you can find. Obviously, the heavier, the better. Um, obviously, ex ex used uranium, it's been expent uranium would be good, but uh, gold would be very too expensive. So a lot of times just something that's lighter but has some heft to it would work. Uh, again, the lead shot back in the old days, we were doing reloads on shotgun shells. Uh, all that we found out was not a good idea, so we're not doing that anymore. So it's hard to find uh, lead weight to be able to work with now. But just a kind of a quick, quick useful tool, kind of reusing things to hold down or propped up things. Uh, these things I was getting for free. Uh, back then, the metal I was getting hold of was inexpensive. Um, pennies are almost a waste product now. Uh, so that can be useful. Kind of have a new life to it in your studio for shooting your products. So that's my tip. It's an old-timer tip. And yeah, thank you for watching.